Today I'm going to show you how to work with green screen in DaVinci Resolve. And it's easy. Like, really easy. Let's take a look. This video is probably my most requested video ever. Like, you guys have been asking for this for forever, and it's finally here. I'm going to show you how to work with green screen in DaVinci Resolve. And it's not just green screen either. It's any solid color background. If you want to get rid of it, you can, as long as you're not wearing the same color that you're trying to get rid of, unless that's the look you're going for. This method is dead simple. It's all done right in the color page. So let's just jump in and get started. All right, let's do this. We're in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve 16, and we're not actually doing anything in the edit page. I just wanted to start here so I could show you exactly what I have set up. In video one, I have the clip that I want to use as my background, and it's just a very simple winter scene, some snow falling off the trees. And then in video two, if I reactivate that, you'll see I've just got a guy standing in front of the green screen, mustache, having the time of his life. What we want to do is actually get rid of this green background so we can have that wintry scene shining through. In order to do that, we first need to go to the color page. And once we're in the color page, there's a couple things we need to do to get set up. First, let's go ahead and click on our highlight button and that way we can see what we're working with. Then we're gonna come over to our node section. We're gonna add an alpha output. So we're gonna right click, hit add alpha output. Then we're gonna draw a line from the blue box on the node to the alpha output. And we're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to go over to our qualifier. We're going to make sure that our pick tool is selected and we're going to come up and we're going to click on any part of this green background. And you'll notice a couple of things when I do that. The first thing you'll notice is that instead of that green background disappearing, what disappeared was our guy and the outer edges of this clip. We want to reverse that. So let's come down to our qualifier again. I'm gonna go over to this button right here, which is our invert button. We're gonna click that. And now you'll see our guy has returned. Our green screen background has for the most part been deleted, but that's the second thing that you'll notice is that we still have a lot of work to do to clean this up. So what we're gonna do is come down to our eyedropper plus button and click that. And we're just gonna click and drag throughout this background to clean it up as much as we possibly can. And that's looking pretty good, but if we zoom in, you'll see we've still got some green around the edges. We've still got some spots here. If we come over to our bottom corner, you'll notice that we've got a bit here and we wanna clean all of that up. And in order to do that, we're gonna come back to our qualifier and we're just gonna play around with the hue, saturation, and luminance until we have a good mix. It may not be absolutely perfect, but it's gonna look a lot better than it does now. So first, let's start with the hue. Go ahead and increase that width a little bit. And that's already looking pretty good. We may not even need to do much more than that. Maybe increase that luminance a bit. And actually, I think that looks pretty good right there. Let's zoom in and take another look. Now see around the beard, we still got a bit. So let's go ahead and grab that saturation, bring that up. Maybe slide that width over a little bit bigger. The green around the beard is pretty much gone. The corner, that looks pretty good. Everything is looking pretty good now. So let's go ahead and save our project. Come back to the edit page. And now if we play that back, we've got our guy with the mustache standing in front of a nice wintry scene, having the time of his life. Now, one thing that I didn't do in this tutorial, one step that I kind of skipped over was the whole color matching, color grading, color correcting, all of that stuff. You want to make sure that you do that so that everything that you're working with seems a little bit more natural so that your background and your foreground look like they were shot together in the same place. Now, if you want to learn more about the color grading process, in DaVinci Resolve, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.